Alright, um, this is a iOS bypass for iOS 9.2.1 and iOS 9.3. I don't know if this works for all devices, but I just figured this out on my iPad, which um, I'm recording on right now. Uh, I've been studying on like how to like bypass this for a while. Everybody said you can find a tool on your PC, but I didn't find one on my PC. Okay, so we just want to set this up. I bought this iPad off my friend today. iPod. I said iPad, my bad. I bought it off my friend today. Um, type in my Wi-Fi password real quick. Alright, so... I'm gonna show you that this is this is iCloud Lock. It's just loading. It's still just loading. I don't know. I don't know why it's taking this long. It shouldn't be taking this long. Okay, see, this is I, iCloud Lock. I'm going to show you guys how to unlock it. So you just want to lock your, your device like this. And then you want to hit this. It should tell you your IME. Where's the IME at? If it isn't on the back. Oh, this is iPod Touch. What am I talking about? Hold on, what's happening? For iPod touches, I forgot. You need to you need to get you need to scroll up right here where it says right here where it says FCCD, FCC and then ID. You need to get those right there. And then for that's like for your email and then your password, you need to get this right here. This Canada one the US and Canada and then you're going to generate up these codes or well, I'm going to generate up these codes you type it in to your um, email right here and then your password right here and then it should be able to bypass it and I'm a there's another catch to this how do you get your own codes your bypass codes Um, you need to do a simple task is it's going to be a download link in the description for y'all just download this app download download two games for me real quick and then send me if you have iPhone send me your IME IME I send me your IME I if you have like iPod touch iPad send me those two things I showed y'all right there send me the numbers I will have my email in the description too, so where y'all can hit me up. So look right here. For iPod, iPad right here. This thing right here. Those letters and numbers. And this one. The Canada one. And if you got um iPhone, any iPhone, just I don't know if it'll work for sure, but it works for iOS iOS 9.2.1, wait, 9.2.1, yeah, and 9.3. It works for those two, and I'm going to show y'all because I already got my codes here. I already got my codes. So, I'm going to just type these codes in real quick. And then I'm going to show y'all that this works. If you sometimes you might not have your your iPhone either will be running really slow off this, you might just have to like turn it off, turn it back on, and it should work just fine. Hold up. Nine 
two, three. You get you get your codes. You I'll send you the code for your email. It'll be it's a bio a BIOS code, I think it was called. BIOS code and it's like a code, a secret hidden code to get past any lock or anything. And there you go, you see that I'm in it. And let's see if I can set this up. Let's see if we can get full in it. It'll just get you to this screen and then if you you don't want to put a password on it right away. You wanna set this up as new and then you don't and then look there goes his email right there that that he used. I don't know it, but press next. Don't use email. And set up and set wait, hold on. Oh, right here. Don't use. So if you see like their email in there, if you see their email in there and the password, you can click next if you want, but the person's email is right here. It's not I'm just gonna delete that because don't want them locking it up again. Okay. Yep, set up later. And then agree with terms. You can turn on or turn off Siri if you want. I'm gonna just turn it on. Why not send the don't share? And then right when you get here, this is the tricky part because it might take you to the home screen or it might restart and lock. So what you wanna do is you wanna get your finger on the power button. You want to press the power button down until you see the power off. And then you want to press cancel. Do you want to do it again and press the get start and then it'll lock. Right when you do that, it'll lock. Like As soon as you press get started, hold down. Like Say this is a get started. Get Welcome to iPod. You want to press it. And as you press and just hold this down like this, and it, it it wouldn't do that, but like once you hold it down, click it and keep holding your finger on the on the um power button, and it should just go through. So just example like this, and just do that, and then it should do exactly like that, and you should get here. See, bypass. See if they got see now iCloud now Apple ID and then like I said um, some things are won't work right away some things probably won't work so let me see like hold on so we got a screenshot. That camera works. Some things probably won't work right away. Just take it a couple to take it some time to fully function. Yeah. Um so there you have it. That's the new iOS 9.3, I think this is on. It was 9.3. Oh, iOS 2, 9.2.1. This is what this one is on. And I think there should be an update for this.
Oh yeah, there should be an update for this, but I'm not sure. But yeah, this works, and just, hold up, I'll show you again. Um, when you, when you go to semi, hold on, I gotta go to settings to find that out, because I guess I didn't screenshot the right thing. See, it freezes. Okay, right here. Send me this, where it says US, and then the FCCD and ID. This is for an iPod and like iPad, iPod, stuff that can't get cellular data. Even if you want an iPhone, just send me your IME and I generate your codes up. I'm out. There y'all have it. The new 2016 bypass here.